Hi, this is Nasha and welcome to my channel, Veil of a Huntress, where we talk about things, spirituality, sexuality, and the occult. Now I have a specific message for a certain person. Now this message is for you if you have recently cut cords with a person and you are currently feeling a lot of deep emotions. I'm being told that you're shedding not only emotions from yourself, but you're also shedding and transmuting emotions from this person. You feel things on a very deep level and spirit wants to remind you that your sensitivity is a gift. It is not a weakness. Your kindness is a gift. And because you have such an open heart and it's not to be mistaken for weakness, powerless, because you are very powerful. And I'm being told that you are actually going through this challenging time because you're elevating in terms of your spiritual growth. And you go through these different challenges in life because they are helping you to evolve, helping you to get more powerful and stronger on your spiritual path. But you recently cut cords with someone because you realized they were almost stealing your peace. There seemed to be a lot of drama. There seemed to be a lot of chaos. And this, in this time, you're being given the gift of healing and taking time for yourself, where I'm seeing a lot of uh, serenity and harmony being introduced into your life now. But what I wanted to look at further is the reason that you're going through this is because, yes, you're empathic and I feel you as someone that is here for a very challenging lesson, but that's because you're here to lead others is what I'm getting. In some way or form, I'm getting that you either teach people, you're a healer, you are someone that people come to for advice. You are someone on a very different path than many. And the reason that you feel the world's pain, your own pain, and this pain of someone around you that you recently cut out is because you transmute and alchemize this energy and you could be feeling quite drained and quite tired. So don't underestimate how powerful your gifts are because I'm also being told that one of your gifts is getting stronger or you're in being introduced into a new gift. So you might be experiencing quite a lot of nighttime activity, dream time is what I'm getting. And even some of you might be seeing, seeing different things, seeing shadows, seeing other things. Um, I'm also being shown that you might be connecting with a spirit animal that has come into your awareness through dream time, through um, your psychic vision, or you've just um, seen it in the 3D, okay? Um, this spirit animal is helping you on your journey, and it's really to do with the empowerment of you, but also because you're here to help others is what I'm being told. There's something in your energy that fluctuates between being feeling really low at times, but then you can also feel quite high and elated. So you have a lot of these kind of waves of energy where you need a lot of rest time to yourself to, yourself to process the energy, your emotions, to spend time alone, and then you kind of go back into the world. So Again, I'm getting don't underestimate or undervalue your potential, your power, and what you're going through at the moment is what I'm getting. And I want to pick some more, some cards as well as, um, to see what else was coming through for you. You're someone who has been here for many lifetimes. And again, I'm being shown that your gifts are getting heightened your bloodline is very powerful and these are almost initiations that you go through when every time you go through a challenge, a gift is heightened, a gift is accentuated or you are introduced a new gift and there's something here about a gift of feeling. So I'm getting clairsentient um, 
and a gift that you're almost that you can sense your the gift of a uh, heightened sensibility you're being your energy your energy and others you're feeling it very very strongly is what i'm getting But out of all, when you go through these challenges, spirit just wants to remind you that you will always be rewarded. So there is always something on the other end. And I am seeing definitely emotional happiness. After you go through this transformation, after you've purged this energy, I see you in a different state. I see you being more happier, elated and surrounded by people that you're meant to be around. And you've kind of cut, by cutting this tie out, you're moving into another reality now. And it's kind of the end of this painful cycle that you were going through. You're going to see things differently through this situation, through this challenge you've been through. You're going to see people differently. You're going to know what their intentions are. You're learning something through this. And... I am getting it as something to do around your work and this is why your crown I'm also as being I'm sh being shown your crown being very um like more aware like your crown chakra is very open to a lot of the spirit activity that's why I'm getting very like you've had a lot of um, activity going on around you I definitely feel for some of you you've been seeing seeing spirits or seeing otherworldly things in your vision or in your psychic vision because that's where your gifts are getting stronger okay let's just do a last message pay attention to your dream time because you're getting some really important knowledge that's coming through but also you are dream when you're dreaming you're going through these different realities i'm being shown so that's why you're still feeling tired when you wake up but I see you transforming this energy and you already know a lot of people are attracted to you. A lot of people are attracted to your energy. So when you can't come out of this, when you're starting to feel better, you're going to see an influx of more people being attracted to you. And especially I am getting around your work. So you don't have to be doing this spiritual work as such. But this flows through into your craft, into your creativity, into your career, whatever it is that you're doing in this world. I am being shown that you're going to be very magnetic and your gifts, there's something here that is very on point and very sharp, especially around your intuition. You are just going to know what is up with people. There's something quite profound and that's why you're feeling quite unstable at the moment because of this energy that needs to move through you and kind of alchemize into this this new elevation of you attracting a lot of abundance and emotional happiness within your work and I am getting that people really admire the qualities and the strengths the strength you have in you so don't underestimate that and no, even if you don't think so, people are very much looking up to you. Okay, I'll just pick the devil card right in the middle here. So you have overcome some type of illusion, some type of huge breakthrough you went through, huge challenge where you didn't think you were going to get through this. And there's some kind of, I am getting like either this person had some type of shadow there's a lot of shadow underworld um there is quite a bit of darkness here i'm just going to say with whoever this person was or something you dealt with had quite a dark energy to it but you overcame it and you didn't sneak around it i'm hearing you went straight through it so remember how powerful you are that you faced whatever this darkness was you faced it head on and you didn't know how you did it and how you were protected, but you are divinely protected by your bloodline, by your ancestors and by your guides. 
you knew this that's why you weren't afraid and you went head on in (laughs) into this challenge into this darkness where not a lot of people would dare to face and you faced it head on and through this you are able to identify the shadow you are able to understand the shadow because in this world it is both light and the dark we can't be just in one world and through this you're learning you're not afraid to go there and that's what you did but you broke yourself out of it you broke the shackles you broke the illusion where someone was trying to put a spell an illusion over you that you wouldn't see what they were trying to do or what this darkness was trying to do to you but it was there just for your challenge and you've overcome this challenge so remember how powerful you are and how strong you are because not many people would dare to go where you have gone and you've overcome this so that is the message i have for you um thank you for letting me read for you and i'll see you in the next reading bye